Two years have passed since Gratilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she buried underground where she remains until this very day. Well, as much of Bear's cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed money. Don't be so sure, Banjo. Hey! Look outside, everyone! Grunty the Witch is coming! Where, Kazooie? I can't see her. Oh, uh, fuzz alarm. Bottles must have been some shadows. Come on, Boneface. Let's play. I feel lucky. Table, you're making me sick. Momo, not to rock the table. Whole house shakes a lot. Perhaps one of us should go take take a look outside. La Belta, our sister is waiting. <laughs> Quickly, we must go. Our angry grunty will be. Then get off me. You must, or move. I cannot. It stopped now. I wonder what it was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. But, but it's dark out there, and uh, I'll be scared. Mumble much brave. Me go look outside. Be back in a minute. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo, give me a hand. Kazooie! Sorry, mistress, I have failed you. Worry, Grunty mustn't. Get you out your sister's will. 
big rock is. So powers we must combine. Gunty sisters, you should not mock. Now what our magic blast this rock? So out you can come! No, no, no! This cannot be! What's happened to little old me? Nice pretty looks! Lost weight you have! I hate bones! A body I need! Can you help me with this little deed? Yes, plan to help we have. So back to our castle we must go. Right then, girls! Let's fix me up! Then Banjo's hairy but I'll whoop! No. No. This not no. good. No. Me go tell Banjo. See us, Bony Man has him. We must whack. Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick his ass, then off to the castle. Guess I'll be having that bird seed after all, huh? Manjo? But you cheated! Kazooie, that's not. Everyone! Must run! Quick! Grunty's coming! Revenge is mine, I cannot miss! Let's see that furry fool dodge this! Yeah, yeah, schoolboy, and I bet she had two heads! No joke! Look! Spell coming! He's right! Quick, everyone out! I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm staying right here. Harry, you must! Ready to leave we are! Hold on, sis! I'm nearly there! I've just been back to blast that bear! Troops we will leave! Destroy the area they will! Stop! Wait for me, Mistress Grunty! No, no, Congo! You stay here! I'll be back! Have no fear! Mumbo's head hurts. Look at our house. Well, at least everyone got out safely. Hang on, where's Goggle Boy?
Uh-huh. Mo looks much unwell. It's worse than that. Grunty's killed poor Bottles. He wasn't the favorite character in Banjo-Kazooie anyway. Kazooie? Sorry. Grunty Whack House and Big Hill Bottles. She must pay. Bear and Bird, get after her. Mumbo, see you later. Great, I get to pick some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. <sighs> I've got a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. And after such a long intro, hello everybody, this is Two-Tone Yoshi, and welcome to my new Let's Play, Banjo-Tooie, the sequel of Banjo-Kazooie, which was happened to be my first Let's Play I've ever done on this channel. Hell, I was knocked off of the bar uh, barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it, I can hardly breathe. So yeah, I, I'm doing finally doing Banjo-Tooie two years after I completed the first game which I thought would make sense because this takes place two years after the first game so it made sense that way that's how I did it <laughs> stupid barren bird coming me waits for them in here all right so yes we we uh, did this game two years ago and we completed it, the first game, the uh, game I let's played, as I said before. And we actually, this is, because it's a sequel, what's so unique about this sequel is you keep all the moves that you learned in the first game. Like the Talon Trot, the, the eggs, oh, oh, sorry, the eggs, which I have nothing on. Then we also got the, those boots that we learned in the last game. And the running shoes, as you can see, we could un. And in this one, you can not only run fast with the running shoes, but you could also run on water, as if you're Jesus Christ. So that's awesome. Uh, okay, so since we got... With all that being said, I guess we can just go ahead and see what's happened around here. Try using eggs as ammo. We already know this. See, look what happened. They all destroyed... Uh, Spiral Mountain, and it's a big mess, so let's go see what's happened in Gruntilda's Lair, shall we? Because there's something that's in there <clears throat> that might be familiar to all of you. Not only is it Gruntilda's Lair from the last game, but there's a certain character in there who's going to be needing our help throughout the whole game. And I will not spoil it for you until we get over there. So let us climb or run up this spiral mountain. Red feathers are needed for Kazooie to fly. Okay. So, yes, we could also fly right up the bat. We have all the moves from the last game, as I said. So, that's that's good. So, let's enter Gruntilda's lair <laughs> using the using the flying tackle thing. And here we will find a familiar look around here and our old friend Cheeto from the last game, and he will help us out. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spell book. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Just hand over something useful. You're out of luck there. I'm afraid Grunty's ripped out all my pages because I helped you in the last game. I'd be most grateful if you could look out for them on your travels. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in in a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. So yes, so now there's, like the last game, it's a collectathon, except there's more to collect now. Not only do we have the jiggies and the musical notes, we also have the Cheeto pages. We also have honeycomb pieces, <clears throat> and we also have um. Jinjos, which the Jinjos are now different in this game. 
I mean, they're the same. It's the same character. They look the same and everything, but the way you collect them is different. It's not like five Jinjos per world. They're actually scattered all around the, the all around the game. So you have to get them all if you want to get 100%. So you might want to do that. So yes, there's more to collect and all that good stuff. So now, without further ado, let us fight, have our first fight against Klungo, who will be our rival throughout the game. This will be this. There will be other times where we have to fight him. <laughs> if it isn't that barren bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Pretty, hmm? I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> you so stupid. At least we can speak properly. Her, uh, eh? Krongo is mad now! Your game ends here! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Krongo squash! So, in each fight he'll use a different potion. Er, as you can see, one of them is where he's giant. Krongo... <laughs> okay, yeah. So now, and also every time you hit him, he'll be hidden behind the shield, and he'll start throwing potions at you that can hurt. So you want to avoid those. To me, this is actually the easiest power-up he uses in the game, so it's quite appropriate for him to use it such uh, so early in this, game. <gasps> in, in this game. So we have one more hit for him. And that's it. We have defeated him for the first time. Nasty Barret Bird hurts for Krungo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off? And we'll forget this ever happened. Yeah, good idea. But you not seen the last of Krungo. Krungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Krungo, with room stick. Alright, so now he's defeated. And we also have these uh, these honeycombs as our health, like in the last game. So now let's let us move on, and we have a little area that's kind of important, but not too important. Also, one thing that's annoying about this game—I love this game—but there's one thing that's annoying about it. There's a lot of backtracking, so we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking throughout this Let's Play. And here we have silos. He'll explain it here, but pretty much what it is, it's pretty much like a warp area where you can warp anywhere to the overworld using this as long as you've unlocked the other silo. And here is the Jinjo village, as I said. There are different cuff. There are different colors for each house, for each Jinjo. There is, however, a gray Jinjo family, but they got killed in the drill the hag the hag one as they were coming towards us so we will not see any gray jinjos because they they're pretty much dead now which is kind of sad but anyway i would hate to leave it on such a short notice we're going on 20 minutes anyway so i think that's appropriate time for this video so, we'll end the video off here, so next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we are going to see the Jinjo King and pay him a little visit. So, see you guys then!